Hey, good morning, Terry. Uh, it's a Sunday morning. Uh, thank you for taking the time. Uh, I'm with uh, Terry Singh. Uh, extremely excited to uh, have him uh, help us uh, do the first uh, interviews of the speakers. Uh, this is for the Open Data Science Conference, which is coming to India for the first time. And we are super excited that Terry and uh, a group of his researchers will be joining us at the conference. Uh, thank you so much, Terry, for accepting our invite to come to the conference. Thank you for having me, Naresh. Thank you very much. Terry, could you please tell us uh, what got you interested into data science and AI? So, uh, great question. I think as a kid, I was always very interested in, in how the world around us uh, is sort of, you know, defined and how things look. Very inquisitive, not just about Earth, but also universe and, and, and space. So, you know, as a kid, I used to already, you know, picked up early math uh, and, and a couple of other friends from a dad coming from various countries around the world. Uh, you know, from Russia, from Israel, many other countries. I got pretty interesting math books uh, at, at an early age. Uh, fast forward another 30 years or something, uh, today you see the same things are being applied in, in AI or well, in, in the form of deep learning or machine learning. And it's possible with data. So as, you know, I, you know Galileo said a long time ago, the nature of book is written in mathematical symbols. And I think we are beginning to see those symbols and, and all these equations. So I think it's fascinating. And for me, it's just like being in, you know, with Lego and playing with it. Absolutely. I think there is a lot of excitement about the, the scale at which we have data and the using AI, uh, machine learning, and others uh, mm -hmm. to basically make sense out of that data. Uh, while there is a lot of excitement, uh, I also personally feel there are still quite a few challenges, both on an individual level as a data scientist mm -hmm. and as a, as an industry uh, in terms of data science adoption. Uh, could you please share some of your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I think uh, there's there are a lot of challenges, both on individual and on 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 more market adoption level, whether it is in the market itself or by enterprises. I think my advice is, or at least in terms of challenges, that people should move beyond uh, these you know test and dummy data sets that are available, and and also move beyond and take the step higher to move uh, from the, the online MOOCs into doing and trying to solve a practical problem. Eventually, it is the application of AI, the practical application of AI in your local community, whether it is medical uh, industry or in retail industry or in public service, uh, you should find a way to solve that problem uh, at an individual and at, at, at the group level or enterprise level. You don't do that, then you will keep stuck in, you'll keep getting stuck in uh, trying to solve, you know, problems which people have already solved, which is, you know, essentially it's a, a no-brainer. So I would say, you know, move. Uh, we need to, you know, get above this problem and and try to solve practical uh, AI uh, uh, problems. That's a that's a really good advice, Terry. I think uh, you know, taking and solving real-world problems, even if it's a small-scale problems, is is important as a way to move forward. And I think that's 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 pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, you're so you're you'll be traveling. Uh, you know, you're 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 traveling across many cities before uh, coming to the conference in India. But you would be traveling from Amsterdam all the way to Bangalore. So, uh, what got you interested in participating in this conference? Great question. I think, you know, pretty simple, you know, what you're doing, Naresh, with ODSC, which is a huge sort of internationally known uh, community of open data science uh, conferences, you're bringing it to India, which is great. Uh, I have been approached over almost two years with the data science community across very different regions in India, from North India, South India, various regions, and it was just not happening. So my first excitement was obviously that, wow, this is happening. So I have to be there, you know, to enable and empower my colleagues and friends and peers in India. And two, I was very much impressed with the way, you know, your value systems and our value systems from Deep Kafa as well, how they were aligned. And that is very important for us because we really make sure that, you know, you know, set alone that we have operational sort of, you know, costs that we need to run our uh, uh, companies. Uh, we do believe that we need to democratize it. We need to bring it to students and we need to find a balance to, to make it run, to, to make it useful for everybody. 
So in a way, all these, these both two things came together and we are like super excited to be there. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and, I, and I completely agree, right? When we first spoke, uh, the, the value system seemed to align really well. And I was really excited that people do uh, have similar thought process. And, you know, what we are trying to do, people can see the value in it. So uh -huh. very excited to, to have you partner with us on this conference uh, and really looking forward. Now, talking about the conference itself, you have uh, uh, some very interesting things that you're doing at the conference. You have a 90-minute tutorial where you're going to be talking about your deep res uh, residency uh, program. And then you also have uh, a full-day workshop where you're going to be talking about neural networks and you'll be going to deep dive into them. Uh, can, you, can you give us a little bit of an early glimpse to what to expect in these two sessions? Absolutely. So I think, uh, uh, you know, the, the most important thing is and I can just jump into, you know, give you, share a screen a little bit so you can see what the real practicality of it is. So this is uh, we are creating a notebook in which we're trying to sort of, you know, how to help uh, developers and enthusiasts from you know, CNN into capsule networks, the, the theory which we are really super excited about. Uh, so this is a full day program in which we're going to talk about uh, how convolution neural networks are great and how capsule, net, uh, capsule networks are trying to improve upon convolution neural network. We'll talk about our research in detail in our, uh, uh, in our workshop uh, and, and, and also potentially help you play with this activation function, which is amazing, written by Narendra Patwardhan, who is a researcher. Ashwari is right now currently is already way ahead creating this notebook, so you're seeing an older version. We're going to talk about matrix capsules, which is written uh, is continu continuously being explored by Huadong Liao, uh, and I will also be talking about Xi Mei's, our you know neuroscience researchers' uh, work on on deep learning. Uh, so this is a full day program in which we'll play with this code, and we're going to have a lot of fun. In the ninety minute session, I will talk about how deep uh, remote residency program works, uh, how we as a team combine our insights and ideas, and constantly continue to challenge each other to work. And is there a potential for you as a researcher? Do you want to be part of this revolution? Do you want to know how we work? We are very happy to, to have this conversation. So these are the two things we'll be doing. And this is a little bit of a sneak peek on, on the notebook. But I mean, again, you'll see more action coming up. Great. Thank you, Terry, for giving us a glimpse of this. Uh, I know people are super excited about having you here and there is a lot of buzz. Uh, we also greatly appreciate that you have uh, graciously accepted to extend a 75% discount to the students as a way to help uh, the, the, the student community to come in and participate in your workshop. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it is really good, uh, you know, a way to support that community. And thank you for uh, agreeing to do that. Uh, you know, again, we talk about the value system aligning really well here. Absolutely. I think this is great. Uh, one last thing, since, you know, just quickly showing, you know, I think it's very important to bring the researchers and students into this, you know, uh, for example, you know, just giving, you know, the observing the nature around yourself. The ARIA function is all about trying to, you know, understand how the growth function from botanical perspective, how trees grow. So we have, you know, kind of taken this and our researcher also proved that it's, uh, you know, superior than the activation functions that exist. So I hope, you know, getting young people involved, you know, we want to provide discounts for students because as you and I, the same principles, principles we, we follow, that people should be able to have access to it. If you are, uh, you know, in a company, convince your boss to be there because ODSC in India is, I'm sure it's happening now, but it's definitely going to be at a much larger scale uh, going forward. We are very, very happy to collaborate with you. And it's all about, you know, you know bringing deep learning into the most practical uh, and applicable sense to the industry. So that's the last thing I wanted to say. Um, and finally, very, very happy and excited to meet you people there. Thank you so much, Naresh, once again for inviting us. All right. Thank you. Have a great day, Terry. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, Naresh.